Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, Youth Power 13 will be holding a virtual closing exercise to end the reading season for the school year 2019-2020. Good morning, reading advocates. Good morning, Kalayaan National High School. I am Jericho Tagorda from the Reading Circle Carfaili Room. I am a senior officer from the alumni group and I am in charge of monitors training for Project ABRC for struggling and developing readers. And I am Charlize Trinidad, Public Relations Officer of Youth Power 13. We are privileged to be given the task as your moderators in this virtual recognition. And to officially open our program, allow me to invite everyone for a short prayer to be offered to us by President Jasha J from my reading group, The Universal Fund Fixers. Let us pause for a moment of silence and feel the holy presence of God. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for our health this morning and for all the blessings that are showered upon us today. Grant, Lord, that as we go through this activity, you will bestow upon us your mercy, your guidance, and your loving care. Make us all humble in front of you, Lord, that we may be worthy of your grace as we continue to serve others. We thank you for this opportunity to hold the closing program. For in spite of all that is happening in the world, we are still able to learn and serve ourselves and others. We pray for the whole school community of Kalayaan National High School, especially for our teachers and parents, for their persistence in guiding us to become productive citizens. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Philippine National Anthem. To all of you, my dear Youth Power 13, I know that we planned to hold a book characters parade, like we always do at closing, that each reading circle would present excerpts of your favorite book. I know this because I have already read and approved your scripts. We also planned that we would invite your parents to witness your achievements and join you in receiving your due rewards in recognition of your hard work during the reading season. But then, there was a pandemic. And so we waited. We waited some more until today that we are all aware that there is still a pandemic. And so we finally realized that all our plans will have to be postponed. But your youth power officers and teachers have prepared your certificates and medals. You would still get them eventually. Today, if your name did not appear among the list of achievers, your record must still be in the Reading Center. 
don't worry. You will soon get your proof of achievement. For indeed, having read 20 books is an achievement. The same thing when you have completed the five reading modules in the Project ABRC. You will receive your hard-earned bronze medal and your certificate of completion courtesy of the Youth Power Program. But for now, those who focused on this goal will be recognized through this simple virtual celebration. For starters, allow me to thank all the participating teachers under the whole school approach subject areas. These are the wonderful teachers of English, Mathematics, Science, TLE, and MAPE who use English as medium of instruction. Thank you. Thank you, teachers. Encouraging students to join the 20 book challenge by giving them extra credit points in your respective subject had always been among the most effective motivators that help develop their natural fondness for reading. So, in behalf of the teachers of the English department, spearheaded by Dr. Romeo A. Mahinay, with Dr. Maria Cristina H. Reyes, Master Simplicio R. Makachag Jr., Miss Maria Vilma A. Batilo, I am very grateful for your support from your respective grade levels. To Dr. Yustakyo G. Gagara Jr., our equally supportive principal, Sir, thank you very much. And to all of you, achievers of the 20 book challenge, code look completers, outstanding student monitors, and most especially to you, youth power officers. Congratulations for a job well done and more youth power. And now, here are the proud achievers of the 20 book challenge year 13. The highlight of this book reading challenge is based on the total number of books read from July 15, 2019 to 12 o'clock midnight of March 15, 2020. The Youth Power cards were evaluated online by Ma'am Debbie and Senior Program Officer Ate Hershey Edria of the Book Lovers Empire and showed the following tallies. To receive a trophy as third placer with a total of 43 books read is Michi Jans Sombria, a new member of the Tailors or the Amethystian League of Elite Readers. Michi is awarded a gold medal for meeting the 20 book challenge, a certificate of merit in the book reading marathon, a bronze medal, and a trophy. Congratulations, Michi Jans Sombria! Our second placer has read a total of 48 books this season. This book lover will receive a gold medal for meeting the 20 book challenge, a certificate of merit in the book reading marathon, a silver medal, and a trophy. The award goes to another member of the Taylors or the Amethystian League of Elite Readers. Congratulations! Hilary Mas Frofunga And the undisputed champion among the bookworms this reading season, who, according to our alumni evaluator, has really read an array of impressive 50 titles from great authors. This amazing person will receive her gold medal for having met the 20 book challenge, a certificate of merit in a book reading marathon, another gold medal and a trophy as a title holder of the most number of books read this reading season. Ladies and gentlemen, 
She is no other than the Youth Power President herself, Miss Joshua J. D. Omanya. For this reading season of Youth Power Year 13, we have enjoined a total of 365 participants from different grade levels. And from this number, a total of 60 students have met the 20 book reading challenge. In the name of my co-host, Kuya Jericho Tagorda, this has been Shirley's Trinidad. Congratulations! Thank you.